Hello, Taurus. So this is your love reading from August 1st through August 15th. It's a general love reading. It will not resonate with everyone, but I hope it does. You guys, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you need a personal reading, all my information is below. If you are currently waiting for your personal reading, thank you for your patience. There's been a lot going on and my hands are shuffling as quickly as possible and my intuition is working as quickly as possible. So thank you for your patience. This is the second video, Taurus. I had shuffled, I was talking, shuffling, I laid out the 10 card Celtic spread and I started going through your reading, Taurus, and well, the camera just stopped working. Beautiful retrograde is very close and it is upon us, okay? So what we have here is August 1st through the 15th, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course. Your overall energy is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, some of you are dealing with fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, but it's victory, it's success, but also too, some of you guys might be getting a lot of recognition or attention from somebody. You might be dealing with somebody who's a bit of an attention whore as well, Taurus. We'll clarify and see what's going on. Coming in right now, we have the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is my family card. So coming in, there's a family situation here, Taurus. Uh, Ten of Cups is satisfaction on an emotional level. It's completion, right? But it's also the family card. So we're going to clarify and see what's going on. What's influencing that or the challenge is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This could be you. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but that Knight of Pentacles in reverse is just something is just at a dead standstill. The energy is not moving. It's stuck. Um, and it has something to do with emotional fulfillment, the family, right? There's something going on here. Because in the recent past, you have the Ace of Pentacles, more Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is just this lack of potential and stability when it comes to a relationship or a commitment getting off the ground. The potential is there, but it's just not getting off the ground, right? This new beginning, this potential for the relationship to build and grow. The recent past, something happened there. It could have been a breakup or it was just stagnant energy. Because what's on your mind is Three of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But the Three of Swords in reverse, much better than the upright, right? Three of Swords in the reverse is getting over some type of sadness, depression, ending, um, sometimes the Three of Swords, it's communication, so it can be lies or betrayal or third party. But in the reverse, in what's crowding the reading and on your mind is you're healing. You're getting over that. And it has something to do with the family situation, right? Um, why it's all happening is the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I see this as a Pisces a lot of times. More emotion. Why everything is happening? The Page of Cups is a dreamer. There's a dream that's being fulfilled. He's a dreamer. He's a fantasizer, right? There's this fantasy, dreamy, emotional energy. And pages are all about delivering news, right? A lot of times the Page of Cups are messages, text, emails, communication of some sort that's dreamy and emotional and it makes you feel good, right? That's why all of this is happening and it's affecting the family or there is some type of emotional fulfillment here that's going on. There's also this healing energy that's on your mind, some type of ending or breakup or just something just with potential did not get off the ground in the recent past. I see a lot of water energy here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Coming in, you guys are going to experience the Four of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Four of Swords can have a couple meanings. Either somebody's coming around, if somebody took a break, either you or the other person, Taurus, they're coming back around. They're coming out of that healing, withdrawal, taking a break. Also, too, the Four of Swords can really talk about being very restless, not able to heal, not able to get that rest, and the energy is very restless, very worried. We'll see what's going on. I really think it's more of somebody coming around because what's on your mind right now is healing, right? It's almost like this healing energy and then somebody comes back around because it's all happening, page of cups. Somebody's opening up emotionally. You see yourself right now as the two of wands. You guys are at a bit of a crossroads here. You know you have to pick a direction, right? You have to pick a path, make a decision, but you're at a crossroads. You might be trying to make a decision about two different people or two different paths that you wanna take. And it has all to do with somebody opening up emotionally. Could have been some um, messages that you got coming in um, on an emotional level. Also too, again, Four Swords is coming in. 
taking, um, you know, if somebody was isolated, they're coming back around, and that's why we have this page of cups here. Also, two outside influences coming in, Taurus, is the two of cups. This is that real soulmate energy. This is that love. It's being offered by both people equally. It's emotion. It's everybody being on the same page. And again, it could be from somebody that's coming around if they were taking a break with that four swords in reverse. Hopes or fears. So your fear is to come out of this nine of, swords, nine of swords energy, right? Stop losing sleep at night over the situation. No longer be worried. No longer having worry or anxiety. Most likely outcome is the six of pentacles. This is your energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is about equal give and take. This is about being very charitable. This is about giving and receiving equally, right? It's very balanced. Six is all about balance. So most likely outcome, um, there's going to be... Uh, reciprocation here. It almost looks like the energy tours of some kind of breakup or ending in the recent past. Um, and then a lot of you, this is a family situation or coming in right now, you just have this super um, feeling of being emotionally satisfied with that 10 of cups. Because what's on your mind is you're getting over something that was done to you in the past, right? Or some type of disappointment, right? And, but the challenge is to get this moving. You know what I'm saying? Like it might kind of be very, very stagnant right now, but coming in, somebody's coming in from taking a break, most likely. It's all happening. Page of Cups, somebody wants to open up emotionally. So let's clarify this and see what is going on for Taurus, August 1st through August 15th in love. What is going on with the zodiac sign of Taurus, August 1st through August 15th? in love show me taurus give me more guidance and advice for the zodiac sign of taurus please all right taurus we are going to clarify and see what is going on august 1st through august 15th so this overall energy is the six of wands getting some attention feeling victory feeling success why is the six of wands here for taurus please yeah the empress this is you guys taurus the overall energy is right now is you guys are getting some attention. You're gaining some victory and success. The Empress is all in a love reading. It's all about nurturing and loving something with a lot of potential. It's growing. It's expanding with somebody. Um, it's fertility. It's a wife. It's a mother. Um, you guys, some of you may have found out that you're pregnant with that Empress energy, uh, which is a success, you know? Others of you, you are getting a lot of attention. You're having a victorious situation here in your love life, and it has a lot of potential for growth, right? Beautiful energy. Um, what's on your mind right now is the Three of Swords in reverse. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus, please? Three of Swords. And you have the Knight of Pentacles again in reverse. Could be your energy or you're dealing with another Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But what's on your mind right now is you're healing. You're getting over some type of past betrayal. Could have been a third party, breakup, sadness, what have you. But the energy is just really stagnant. Or what's on your mind is, is this ever going to move forward, right? Where is this going? Because right now it's just not moving. Um, in the recent past, though, you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this Ace of Pentacles for Taurus, please? What's this Ace of Pentacles? And we have the King of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If not an air sign, then you guys are just dealing with somebody in the recent past that was completely emotionally detached. Um, they could have cut you off. You could have cut them off. There was some type of uh, just something just did not get off the ground or it ended with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Um, that King of Swords in reverse can also allude to uh, lies, cheating, deception, very, very nasty communication. Um, or again, somebody was just cut off in the recent past due to some type of breakup or lack of potential. Coming in though right now, we have the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Taurus? What's this Ten of Cups, please? We have the world. So again, it could be an ending and a new beginning. Major Icon of the World is all about learning lessons. It's about something ending and something new beginning. For some of you, this will be an ending to some type of family situation. For others of you, it'll be a new cycle opening up within your existing relationship, right? Because you're getting over some type of sadness and you have this Ten of Cups. The challenge is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the challenge the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus, please? The Queen of Swords, again, your your challenge could be a um, 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or your challenge could be to uh, cut somebody out or that they're cutting you out. Also too, with the Queen of Swords, again, it's all about communication. So your challenge could be communication as to why this energy is taking so long or is just kind of stuck right now. It's all happening because the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Taurus, please? Clarify the Page of Cups for Taurus. And we have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So the situation is all about um, having options, perhaps, having a lot of choices, but also we have two cards here of fantasy, right? With the Page of Cups, it's a very dreamy, fantasy type card. And the Seven of Cups can also talk about um, being confused or leave it, or things are just confusing or hazy, or you're having some type of, you know, living in some type of fantasy. And it all has to do with this Ten of Cups involving the family, emotional fulfillment. There's a chapter ending within your current relationship, Taurus, or you guys are just completely ending a relationship and starting something new with that world energy. Also, too, I think the situation is just a lot, probably a lot of communication that makes you feel good on an emotional level that's going back and forth right now with that Page of Cups. Um, and it's it's leaving you with a lot of choices, right? Also, too, be careful because whomever you're dealing with may have a lot of choices or options. Coming in, you have the Four of Swords in reverse. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse here for Taurus, please? What's this Four of Swords? Death in reverse, see? Sign of Scorpio. So coming in, somebody that, that withdrew or took a break from y'all, or if you took a break from somebody, what you're going to experience coming in is somebody's coming out of taking a break with that four swords in reverse and death in reverse. That's all about going back to the past, right? Uh, Scorpio energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I see everybody here really too, so signs don't matter. It's all happening because there's some communication going on about somebody opening up emotionally, right? Um, having, you know, opening up these options and these choices when it comes to your love life, Taurus. Somebody will be coming back around, all right? The energy is potential and expansion for, for the future. There was an ending in the past. Somebody got cut off. Somebody was emotionally detached. Um, and it's a, it, coming in, it, it is a family situation for a lot of y'all. Or you're just feeling emotionally very, very complete right now. You are a little bit worried about the energy moving forward and it, how it's just taking forever and it might be a little bit at a standstill. You see yourself right now as the two of wands. You guys are at a crossroads, um, probably because of whatever's coming back around, right? This energy of somebody coming back around probably has not happened yet. It may have for some of you. If it hasn't, it will shortly. Right now, you see yourself as the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Taurus, please? Why is this two of wands here for Taurus? Ten of wands, yeah. So y'all are feeling burdened by this right? A lot on your plate. There also might just be a lot going on in your life. More fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. You see yourself right now as having to make a decision, but being at a crossroads, not knowing which direction to turn, which path to take. Um, and you see it as a burden. There's a lot on your plate when it comes to the situation. What do you do, right? Because somebody's opening up emotionally, right, with this page of cups. You guys may have gotten some type of news in here. Um, outside influences coming in is the two of cups, more Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, all about emotion. A lot of soulmate energy there. Um, it could be a very strong tie and bond to somebody, obviously. Why is the two of cups coming in for Taurus, please? And we have the queen of wands. Some of you, it is a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries. The Queen of Wands is all about taking action. She does not, she or he doesn't just sit around and wait for it to happen. They move, they make things happen. A lot of passion, a lot of action, a lot of excitement, go-getter, entrepreneur, um, very, very secure in what they want and they go after it. There's a lot of passion here coming in. Again, a lot of you, if you were taking a break from a fire sign, they're coming back around. Um, coming in and offering that beautiful soulmate emotional connection. Um, very passionate. What's on your, or your hopes or fears is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here for Taurus, please? Three of Cups in reverse. Um, so a lot of you guys, I think, are fearing probably a third party situation here, or you're afraid of um, not reconciling with this person, or not celebrating, not having some type of agreement. Um, the Three of Cups in the upright is all about agreement, right? People agreeing on something, finding balance, reconciling, having a good time, celebrating, right? But your fear is, or your hope, I'm sorry, is to come out of some type of anxiety. You guys are definitely having some type of worry about this. You're seeing yourselves right now as being overly burdened with this. Um, 
most likely outcome is the Six of Pentacles. So I see things balancing out here for you, Taurus. August 1st through August 15th. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Taurus? And you have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys may just decide to lay it down. With that Nine of um, Wands, more Leo Sag Aries. Um, the, nine of so or the Nine of Wands in the upright is that wounded warrior. There's, there's been past hurt, which we can see through this reading. They're exhausted, tired, but they persevere. They keep going, right? They don't give up. Um, most likely outcome is a lot of you will, will find balance again in your life, in your love life, in your family life, right? Somebody's definitely going to try to come back around here. Um, and some of you are just trying to get stability back in your life. You're trying to find balance, um, giving and receiving equally, that kind of thing. If that wasn't happening in the past, I see you regaining that most likely outcome. But with that nine of wands in the reverse, some of you guys are just going to be like, you know what, screw it. Like, I'm too tired. I don't even want to fight for this anymore. There's just been too much past hurt and pain, right? Let's clarify it again. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Taurus? Clarify the Nine of Wands for Taurus, please. And the Devil in Reverse. See, some of you guys are trying to release something toxic or something that just didn't work out in the past, and you're going to decide. It could be Capricorn, but a lot of you guys are going to decide just to release it and to no longer be chained and bound to it. No longer be tempted by this person because the Devil can't talk about temptation, but in the reverse, it's just... You know, this person coming in and you not um, giving into that temptation, right? Because you know it's just not good for you or it's toxic. Nine of Wands in reverse, Devil in reverse. You guys are just trying to balance out your lives right now. And a lot of you will not probably let this person back in. You'll probably just decide to give up on them. But somebody is definitely coming back around, okay? Um, four Swords in reverse, Death in reverse. Come on. And they're bringing two of cups. They think that you're their soulmate. You may think that this person is your soulmate. Queen of Wands clarifying, a lot of fire, energy, passion, taking action. Um, that's what you're going to experience coming in. Um, but again, you guys, with your hopes or fears, so your hope is to come out of anxiety, to not have this worry and these sleepless nights anymore over this person. And with the Three of Cups in reverse, this is a lack of reconciliation, not coming together. So I think a lot of you guys actually don't want to come back together with this person. Again, if it's not your energy, it's the other person's. And most likely outcome shows that. It shows, Taurus, that you guys are trying to regain balance. Maybe it was very one-sided in the past, and that might be why it ended. Here they come in again, though, but a lot of you guys are like, uh-uh, I'm releasing that devil energy and nine of wands. I'm just too tired. Screw it. I don't want to deal with it. I need to regain balance in my life. So there you go, Taurus. I love you guys. You guys take care. Love you hard. Love me hard back or don't, but I will see you soon. Take care.